LSD kind of erupted into our culture and it was kind of a, a, a cultural atom bomb in a certain sense. There was no existing tradition or knowledge about how to take, how, how to deal with this thing. So it became controversial because of its position in, you know, because of basically of its threat to conventional thought and conventional religion, I would dare say, and conventional psychiatry and everything else. I mean, LSD, you know, was really the trigger of all this, even though it's not a plant, but, you know, that's irrelevant. Uh, it, it, it sent, after its invention, it kind of sat quietly in laboratories and, you know, there was a lot of interest in it in psychiatry and psychology. It was a basic tool for neuroscience. And there was really no controversy around it. But then other people began to find out about it. Timothy Leary came along and, and seized upon it, not really knowing what, what it was. And uh, it became for him a, uh, a tool of, you know, social change, which it was. And that, anything like that that challenges conventions is, is going to be. Um, but he wasn't... I don't know what the term is. He, in some ways, he was too much of a, a lightning for a negative, negative interpretations, and you know he really uh, sort of uh, activated the paranoia uh, receptors of, of the powers that be, and he frightened a lot of people, and uh, and so the you know, the, the response was, this is dangerous, this has got to be shut down, and it was shut down, and more or less it was shut down, and we're just now recovering from that. I mean, it was more or less the, the most of the psychedelics were made illegal in the Controlled Substance Act of 1970. It's taken now 40 years to circle back on that, and for cooler heads to say, wait a minute, let's take a look at this again. Let's see what they might be useful for. Um, you know, they're not so threatening anymore because lots of people have taken them and you know, we just live in a different culture. So I think that's been the challenge. I mean, I think, I think that Leary really set back, in some ways, the advance of psychedelics. I mean, I don't blame him for that. I feel that he was... Uh, you know, the prisoner of history in a way. If it hadn't been Leary, it would have been someone else. It was just inevitably that it was going to happen. Now we're past that. Now we're more mature as a culture. And uh, we can begin to, you know, take second and third looks at these psychedelics uh, with a little perspective and say, what might these be good for? Where do they fit into, where do they fit into our culture? The, you know, the question is not, um, uh, I mean, they've been part of other cultures for thousands of years, so that's not a question. How are we going to deal with them? How is the 21st century global um, mind going to come to terms with these substances and these experiences?